A large environmental disaster occurred on February 3, 2023, in East Palestine, Ohio, USA. The derailment of a train carrying vinyl chloride led to leakage of this extremely dangerous substance. Uncured vinyl chloride is strong poison that is in a gaseous state at temperatures above minus 13 degrees Celsius. It is twice as heavy as air, which leads to its stagnation in leeward zones and unventilated rooms. The threshold of its sensitivity through the sense of smell is 3,000 times higher than its dangerous concentration in the air. Therefore, when we reach a dangerous concentration through the sense of smell, we do not feel it. Vinyl chloride is extremely toxic and has carcinogenic, mutagenic and teratogenic effect on all living organisms. According to local residents, officials who arrived at the scene set fire to the vinyl chloride leaking from the tanks. This was done to prevent an explosion and release of this gas because the tanks are transported under constant cooling. Vinyl chloride is liquefied in the tanks. However, when vinyl chloride burns, it releases many hazardous chemicals such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride and a strong poison, phosgene. The cloud of gas and its combustion products covered a huge area of the state. This catastrophe has already caused poisoning of the Ohio River. Although the authorities report that the water is absolutely normal and does not cause any concerns, I am absolutely sure, as an expert, that the water supply to almost 5 million Americans in this area depends on it. If you look at the final footage, where the smoke from the fire was so toxic that even the fire brigade refused to put out the train for days, they waited for the vinyl chloride to burn itself out. And during the fire, there was released so much hydrogen chloride and toxic phosgene into the atmosphere, which was used, by the way, as a chemical weapon in the First World War. The consequences of environmental pollution will affect the lives of these people for the next 20 years. And there are millions of people there. My house is 900 feet from the actual derailment. Um, it's been tough. We're not sleeping. We're getting sick with eye infections, respiratory headaches, sore throats. Um, my grandkids have been traumatized. They're worried all the time. Well, what are they telling you? My doctor says I, I most definitely have the, the chemicals in me. Nighttime, it feels like I, I'm drowning a little. He wakes up every morning. I have a hard time breathing. Yeah. The frequency of chronic intoxication will be very high, and chronic poisoning in general may develop not in one day, not in a moment. It can develop from 5 to 42 months from the start of exposure and will be characterized by complex pathology. We have to say that vinyl chloride is a neurotropic poison, which means that it primarily affects the central nervous system. Then it has an immunotoxic effect, which means that it causes systemic damage to connective tissue, blood vessels, as well as the reproductive system. We can now observe the reaction of authorities and it is absolutely clear from these actions that there is a system failure, which indicates a serious dysfunction of the administrative mechanism, including the ability of the authorities to speak honestly and openly to their own people. As an expert, I know for sure that 99% of vinyl chloride emissions will remain in the air and there will be photochemical degradation under the influence of hydroxyl radicals. And the half-life will be 18 hours. Although this does not mean that the cloud that is now over the area will dissipate almost immediately. Vinyl chloride will evaporate very quickly from the soil surface, but it causes irreparable damage to the soil. It migrates and penetrates deep into the soil through the groundwater. It does not accumulate in plants and animals, but brings them instant death. And numerous studies show that actually vinyl chloride decomposes in soil and water with the help of microorganisms by up to 30% within 40 days and by up to 99% within 108 days. This is an enormous time frame. In the modern consumer society, neither the manufacturing company nor the government cares about the life and health of these people. 
They only care about their own interests and assess their personal economic damage. You quickly learn that you don't have a voice in this. They don't care.